Okay, folks, here's a lot of pests. Yeah, that's going to be the game. And there it is, folks. Oh, there it is. 45 pests. Have you seen that? Hey, welcome to Menacing MTG. I've got an amazing deck. You've seen a lot of pest decks by now. Um, and this is another one, but it is not your average pest deck. I woke up <clears throat> with a handful of cards in mind to create some basic synergy to enhance the pest deck. And I'm going to make this quick because I have so many games I want to show you and I want to make this a quick um, deck overview. But um, let me make this quick. So. <clears throat> the things that this has in addition to your pest deck, I'm not even going to explain those. I guess I'll say Damagoth, Passion of Remembrance, Ten the Pests, that's the core, um, is that we have, <clears throat> excuse me, Body of Research, two copies of this. Yes, is it going to be tough to get a six drop, three green, three blue, um, Factal out onto the battlefield with a black green um, core concept? Well, I thought maybe it would be, but I think I've accomplished it. So that's one key card. Blood on the Snow is another key card. So you can only imagine if you bring in Body of Research and it's a 38 or 40, 40 um, uh, token creature and you run 10 the pests, you have an enormous amount of um, pests. You need a Bastion of Remembrance on the battlefield to make that click. So then everything else is kind of golden here. Another thing that makes this run especially big is we have Rise of the Dreadmarn. You, if you get this early in the game, you can throw it into Fortel and then play it for one black mana whenever um, X number of non-token creatures die this turn. Drop this and you get that many 2-2 two -two black zombie tokens. So that's where Blood on the Snow comes in. You have this on the battlefield. You run 10 the pass. You have a ton of these things. You have Bastion. You run Plum, kill them all. Uh, it brings one big thing back, not the token, <clears throat> but a, a creature back. And then you can drop this and it uh, gives you a ton of black zombie tokens. It just goes on and on and on, folks. Um, it's totally insane. So yeah, the enhan enhancements that make things go big are the Body of Research, the Rise of the Dread Marn. Additionally, we have some choice single cards here, Pelucranos. Um, Gnarled Professor, which has learned. There's four cards that have learned, so we have the sideboard available. Um, Pelucranos can fight things. Nessian Boar. So you have all these tokens on the battlefield. You get Nessian Boar on. You'll see it happen, and you'll see all these things synergize. I, I have an amazing selection of games where just all this stuff happens. Nessian Boar. Every creature that can has to block Nessian Boar. Everything else can just flood in. So yeah, let's. We have 26 lands here. Uh, three Zagath Triumphs that have all three colors represented. Some slow, but still snow, multicolored lands, and your core lands, single ca castle, and a couple fabled. Quick look at, sorry I'm rattling, but I want to show you the games. Sideboard, environmental sciences, you can get the lands you need, necrotic, get rid of something you must, inkling, a flying blocker, a couple past summonings, and expanded anatomy. And this is a key card here, probably the most valuable maybe arguably in competition with environmental sciences, but you throw this on something like Narrow Professor, then it's a 7-6 with Trample and Get to Learn, Get Back in Here. Uh, and uh, so anyway, amazing. Hope you love this deck. It is outrageous. This truly is a contender. Um, it will have a little bit of trouble against Mono Red Aggro and... Um, I'm going to try to fit in a, de a game that I did lose. You can beat it, but you have to get things on that are uh, really going to help you out right away, which include iTwitch, Dina, and Bastion, uh, for starters. So there you have it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing, liking, feedback, suggestions. Stay tuned. i got another cool deck for tomorrow, and have a great day. Great looking hand here. Keep it.
I don't know that I need two blood on the side, but <clears throat> we got Bastion. We got this with a boom pledge mage, which will be a good card. Give us some uh, depth. We'll trade here. I don't think they'll come. They do come. Actually, we're not going to block right now. Um, let's see. We'll get the Bastion up first. Let's get some value there. Okay. One mana shy of Damagoth. This will get us a learn so we can... Okay, yep, there's nice plays here. Gotta go for environmental sciences in case we don't get mana. We do not get mana. Environmental sciences. Let me take a quick look at what we have here. Green, black, black. Um, I think we have to go uh, green here. As the Dreadmiron comes up. So this is really excellent here. We're going to do some nice stunts at some point here. Ooh, Clack Bridge, that is tough. You get a little benefit from Bastion, though. <clears throat> okay. Really getting close to what we need here. It could be worse, but not much. So we'll be able to sack that still with 10 to pest, so we can't use it anyway. So we're not the end of the world. Okay, excellent. <clears throat> we now have blood on the snow material. In here with infests. We need one more land so we can run Rise of the Dreadmern after sacking these guys with blood on the snow. That would be ideal. Running these dry, drawing cars like crazy with Clackbridge, which is hurting us. We will double block the boot nipper if it comes. Yep, they, they think otherwise of that. So the best thing where that could happen here is we get another mana. And we have three swamps, so we're able to do, if we do get a mana of any color, we can run blood on the snow. We get black, so this is awesome. Not going to mess around. We're going to make sure we have one back. We return Damagod. And the opponent is going to be bumming here. Alright. 
Not bad. There's how it works right there, folks. That is a powerful um, outcome. Oh my, and we we have blood on the snow tend to pass the whole nine again, so we're gonna start with here is this. Ten the pests. Holy cow. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, so 16, 17. Yeah, we're getting very close to fatal for them. I think we're going to stay put here. Wow, not bad. Okay, yeah. Nice. Okay, yeah, that's going to be the game right there. Perfect addition, so all creatures m that can um, must block the Nessian boar. So we'll just attack next turn. Everything will get through except for Nessie, and then we'll run Blood on the Snow and end the game. So we've got them. They are dead. They're desperate. They know that they're done. <clears throat> and they'll probably flip a coin here, but it's, it's all moot. So we're going to come in for uh, 26 damage. They both have to block the Nessian Boar. I hope they let us finish up here. Okay, they'll gain a few life. The fact is we're going to run blood on the snow and it'll be the bastion and it's all over. Okay, that's pretty damn excellent. Now let's go with a bang. This deck certainly wins big. Yeah, that's that's a lot of stuff going on there. <laughs> This deck is insane. I'm really loving it. Um, just when you thought pests couldn't get any better, here they are. Okay, this looks like a great hand to start with. We'll keep it. Get on board, we'll load the Bastions next. Let's see if it'll get killed right there. Okay, all we need really right now is 10 the pests. To be absolutely hooked up. Okay. I'm going to go Bastion here. Okay, two sides more witch. A bit scary. 
We've got such great pieces here, I'm not terribly concerned. So now we can put the Triom up. We have a Bastion up. Now we got somewhat of a formidable foundation here. We're looking for some more themes here. Semi, we're rolling <clears throat> lots of pests. There's ten of the pests, so that's excellent. Dame Goth up. And we have Plum in hand, really, this is everything we need. We can win this game fairly quickly here. In two turns. Plum, we're going for Plum. Okay. Gaining quite a bit of life. Creating a ton of pests. I actually think we can get this done on this turn, this coming turn. Ooh, Pelucranos. Okay, thankfully they don't have what it takes to use Pelucranos right now. So we, thankfully, we have the things in hand that we need. Ooh, we're not there yet, but we're not a world away. Okay, so let's make sure we get this right. Watch it go, folks. And this is just going to go absolutely nuts. You won't see it to completion, but there is a zillion of these things happening. huge win. Okay, this hand has tremendous potential. Um, it is going to be a bit tough in that we can't play some of the bigger cards. We're going to have to scratch our way through with Bastion. We do go first. <clears throat> Try them up. Okay. Okay, elves, this is going to be trouble. Okay, we're getting good land here. Bastion up. Gonna need green. We need a learn spell right here. We need just need one green. Okay, Damagoth. On. <clears throat> so we have 10 to pass, we're hoping we don't lose that spell right there, the Damagoth. We need that, and we need a green, and we'll be really moving along here. 
do have a long way to travel for a body of research, <clears throat> but we can get there. We're drawing a whole lot of cards with Plum. Oh, that's a big hit right there. That is a big hit. Okay, um, not too pleased with what we got going on here. This is an instant. We're going to go tend the pests. Really disappointed that at the loss of Bastion. That's a big hit. <clears throat> what, 11 pests and a, another token? 12 tokens down there helps. Rise of the Dreadmarn would be a great card to get eventually here, as we have Blood on the Snow. And they're getting big. Now have enough mana to run the War Masters on Bump. Not going to help a whole lot right now because we have so many pests. Plum the Forbidden. I'm not too happy about that. We're just not getting what we need. So I think what we're going to do is head in here and sack two. Okay, um, Up Woodland Chasm prepares us for our old professor next turn. <clears throat> Still have ten pests, no attacks. Getting high saturation of black mana here. Okay, excellent. Every turn we survive here is to our benefit. We're going to go now, Professor, right here with the Learn. Okay. Inch our way towards body of research. <clears throat> now we've got a pretty sturdy um, force. <clears throat> okay, there. That was a big addition for them. <clears throat> okay, Blue Kronos is a great card to get here. Do not yet have 10 the pests. But let's see. Um, I think Lucanos is the guy here. And get rid of Elvish. Big, huge loss for them. Okay, excellent. <clears throat> So we're still in scary territory here. They got a ton of elves, but they're down to a single card, and they're going to bring it. Um, all right, they could have a spell here. <clears throat> I 
Okay, I think they're done. I think we've taken out the elves. Okay, very nice. Incredible, in fact. Alright, we will fight another day, but that was incredible. <clears throat> All right, they're wide open, but the question is, what can we get done here? Um, we do have blood on the snow, and have the ability to restart here, and we could bring something back. What do we have here? Demogoth, uh, Polychronos, um... All right, uh, we're going to attack first. Bring blood on the snow, and they're empty handed. So I think we're going to bring our professor back in pretty good shape here. We're going to have expanded anatomy. Stop right there. And they do have a pretty significant problem. We're going to put expanded anatomy on. Professor. We've got the life edge. Good battle though. Cryom up. We're inching toward body of research. It's getting smaller though. So this is a big problem for them as it has Vigilance this turn, so they're going to take a big hit. Yeah, they're going to give them up. Yikes. Okay, we are in the driver's seat. And they're going to give it up, folks. It's a win. Okay, uh, this is a bit of a scary hand, but we're going to keep it. You can't deny two bastions. Plus, we have a blood on the snow. So, uh, okay, well, mono red aggro here could be a major challenge. Getting great land here. Who's a back? Okay, yep. Yeah. Excellent mana here. We're just going to need some additional spells to kind of solidify things. Yep, here we go. We are bringing them. Okay, field trip is good. Bastion 1. <clears throat> So we currently have the mana for Blood on the Snow. Yeah, we're going to take some damage as they have Weasel back, but we'll get rid of Rimrock first. Oh god, Ember Cleave. Okay, they I think they're going to be able to get rid of us. We, can, we won't get there fast enough. Yeah, that's game.
Here we go. Well, yeah, if there's any vulnerability here, it's... Okay, this hand has incredible potential. We're going to keep it. Oh my, okay, yep, we're rolling here. So we're going to put this uh, Rise of the Dreadmire into Portel this turn. Well, not this turn, but next turn. I'm not exactly sure how we're going to get to this. Let's see, uh, I think we're going to have to sit on that. So we will bring the Swamp and put up Bastion. Okay, we continue to get good stuff here. So bringing on great items. Now we need ten the pests. I don't think they're going to want to give them up, and they don't want to give them up. Cause them up. Holy squill. And we're going to go for this lesson here. First of all, we can fight and gain life. Let me just look at the battlefield here. Okay, we're going to need a blue. So we can get the body of research on. Okay, they do have protection from multicolored, so that's going to hurt for a minute. <clears throat> well, we need 10 the pests at this point. Okay, <clears throat> that's too bad. We're gonna lose Dame Goth, which is gonna mess with us, but 
see what we can do. And we could pull up some, um, a couple of zombies right here. And I think we're going to do it. Alright. <clears throat> the knights are coming. Oh, just a bit too late, unfortunately. We do have this creature which is going to give us trouble. Call protection from multicolor, but he can block these two. And they have to watch what they bring in. <coughs> we do have this quill we can attach at some point. Really what we want to do is have this live so we can run 10 the pests. <coughs> Okay. Okay, folks, here's a lot of pests. Yeah, that's going to be the game. And there it is, folks. Oh, there it is. 45 pests. Have you seen that? <laughs>